Well, this all happened in a private residential community that's just down that street there. When deputies arrived, they found a man shot in the leg and surveillance cameras were rolling as this unfolded yesterday around 7 a.m. A chaotic chain of events caught on camera Sunday morning. This surveillance video provided by the Instagram page DubCTV shows the exchange of gunfire. When I got down here, I saw the gentleman right here um, on the ground shot. Chris Sheehan says the man, one of his neighbors, was trying to stop three people who were allegedly attempting to steal a catalytic converter. He came out and noticed it. And he, uh, he confronted him, like, what's going on? And I guess, you know, for, I guess they shot at him in the, in the leg, and then he fired back because he had a, a pistol on him. And during the getaway, more gunfire. Followed by this. The truck plowing into three big metal mailboxes. They drove away onto Cold Creek. But in the neighborhood, evidence of what happened is still here, including bullet holes in a garage door. There was the saw still under the gentleman's car of them trying to take the catalytic converter. Catalytic converter thefts have been on the rise nationwide. In 2020, reports of those kinds of thefts jumped by 325%, according to Ben Verified, a company that provides public data. And there were more than 1,500 theft reports filed through April of this year in Washington state alone. Back in Newcastle, neighbors say the confrontation over a catalytic converter turned terrifying. Broad daylight, like what's going on? I mean, it's, I've lived here for four years and it's a nice community. This has never happened, so it was very shocking. According to investigators, that getaway truck was stolen and later found torched. So far, no arrests have been made in this case. Live in Newcastle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.